morning and as we come to the nine o'clock hour, we pause for a moment in prayer for all those ill around the world, most especially those who are suffering with COVID-19. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, as we come for this moment of prayer, as we, as we come today before the Lord, we ask for his mercy, his pardon, and his peace, these gifts of his that he gives to us in such rich abundance. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate the mystery, in mystery, the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too may we be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. And Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that, ye, that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed, to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made of by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, because he needs nothing. Rather it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth. And he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him. Though indeed, he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day in which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they began, when they heard about resurrection of the dead, they began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Aragopagus, a woman named Dam Damarius, and others with him. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven and earth. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. By the, be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. The heavens and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, along our journey as Christian disciples, from the very moment of our baptism, we have all been called, as we know, to share and spread the good news of Christ, to, to share with others in the ways possible that presented to us how it is that Christ has worked in our lives and what the great gift of Christ is for us and for all who find a relationship with him. This is indeed the, the calling that you and I have to, to witness, to, to evangelize, to, to bring the good news of Christ to others, to others who are in such need of hearing it. It's today that we hear in the Acts of the Apostles that, that Paul has a, a quite an interesting uh, encounter of, of witness, of, of sharing the good news. He, he comes into Athens, which is the, uh, the cultural center of, of, the, of, of, the, of the Greece, of, of Greek culture at his day. And he finds that there are these Athenians who are, of course, worshipping uh, the gods and deities of their day. And, and Paul engages with them in, in sort of a very, in a very winsome way. He, he, he approaches them, he, he seeks to enter into a dialogue with them, and, and, and slowly but surely he engages with them and shares with them the Christ, the Lord, whom they are seeking, whom... Uh, the deities and, and gods that they worship in, 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 in vague and shadowy ways are indeed pointing towards the one true God. It's for them, it's, it's Paul who sees, can see that path that God wishes to lead them along, and, and, and Paul seeks to draw them out in that. I think all of it, a, a, a good invitation for you and me, that we are each called in our own way to, to this witness, to this, this genuine witness, authentic witness, compassionate witness to our faith. Maybe it is for us in these days that we, we might find ourselves witnessing in different ways, in, in new ways, perhaps some of us over uh, social media, in, in, in the internet forums. And whatever it is, it's, it's, a, it's a moment for us to consider how we take up this call, this, this call to evangelize and to witness in perhaps some of the creative ways that, that Paul shows us today as he See, never, as, as none of us, rather, know uh, when the moment is going to come, when that opportunity is going to come. But it's a time for us to kind of look into our toolbox of, of, of the skills and, and the approaches and the ways that, that you and I go about to witness, to, to lovingly and authentically witness to, to the love and the truth and the mercy of Jesus Christ.
So may it be this day that God strengthens us in this ever so vital task. Let us now bring before God the prayers of, our, of, of ourselves and of our communities this day. For our holy church, may the Holy Spirit continue to deepen our love for God and strengthen our relationship with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. For all government leaders and workers, may God sustain them in wisdom and understanding and right judgment in these days. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer from addictions or dependencies, most especially those who are in our families and, and amongst our friends, may God's light be with them and may he help them in their struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. For us, as we near the end of the Easter season, may God's grace continue to bring us to a deeper relationship with Christ and strengthen us in our witness to him. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them, and then they rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of those prayers and petitions which we hold and now present before the Lord in the silence of our hearts this day, Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, your grace surrounds us. Hear these prayers that we offer today, for we ask them through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's be gone for that night. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And for our good and good of all of this holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. The integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving and broke it, giving and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. His peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. brought together by love, uh, by our love and faith in Jesus Christ, we now pray our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in today to see you back tomorrow.